Hi y'all, and welcome to my June plan with me. I know that now is a particularly stressful time for all of us, and I won't do us the disservice of pretending it's not, but I hope that my silly little video can at least take your mind off of it for a couple of minutes. You might notice that my sound quality has markedly improved, and that's because my older sister sent me a microphone very graciously out of the goodness of her heart. However, she also dropped in this note demanding that as payment for the microphone, I use the craft paper included there within as part of my videos. However, she didn't specify how, so... I had the idea to make my cover page a sort of patchwork. I used a bunch of clippings of flowers and the craft paper and of various pages from magazines to make this grid. First I started by making a grid of squares one and a half inches by one and a half inches and pasting in scraps of paper that I had made. I had intended to leave some spaces blank, but that kind of looked weird, so I filled them in with a black dry erase marker. I couldn't figure out how I most wanted to draw the name of the month, but I ended up writing it in with a white paint pen. As you can see, the bleed through went really badly to the other side of the page, which I intend to rant about in completion if I ever make a video about how much I hate the Loistrum. I had already decided to fill up the other side of the page with a collage anyway, so I could cover up the bleed through, so the only harm done was pissing me off. As you can see, I cut pieces of the butcher paper to size and glued them in place. I trimmed the edges off after I had glued them in, just so there would be no overhang. I chose to glue in this face of a woman from an issue of Cosmopolitan that I had from a couple of months back. And I think that she looks really beautiful on the page, and I love the way that she's looking into the gatefold. I decided to make this page part quote page, part collage page. I used a scrap of paper from an old bullet journal and a dry erase marker to color in a little card black, and I wrote my quote on it in my white Jelly Roll gel pen. See, I have a scrap leaflet of pages from my last bullet journal which fell apart at the seams, another rant to be included on that in the future. But I use clippings from it whenever I want a new page of paper to look as if it's popping out. The quote is from the song Hero by Regina Spector, which you might recognize from its inclusion in the movie 500 Days of Summer. The copyright gods are not on my side today, so it will not be the background music to this video, although I had hoped it would be. The quote says, I'm the hero of this story, I don't need to be saved. I then fill the page up with dots by my Expo marker and my white paint pen. I think it added a little depth and dimension to the page that was absent when it was just the lady in the quote. I tried to space the dots about one inch apart, but I didn't do that good of a job on it, so it's a little sloppy, but I think it turned out nice anyway. The cover page took forever, probably about a full episode of Psych, or 45 minutes. But this quote page took probably six to seven minutes once everything was all glued in and dried. Really easy. This calendar page also took forever since I insisted on cutting out one inch by one inch squares individually for each day of the month. But once I glued it in all in place, it looked really cool. I am so happy with how it turned out but it took forever, so I put it on super time-lapse. So for each square, it was one inch by one inch, and I glued them in with about two dots lines worth of separation between them. That way there wouldn't be too much bumping up on each other. I left the first Sunday of the month and the last four days of the month empty and filled them in with black paper that I had doodled all over with my white Jelly Roll pen. I also labeled the days of the week with my white pen and black paper, and I numbered each of the boxes according to the day, as one does with a calendar. I do the same mood tracker every month, and I've been doing it for most of the year now. I find that it makes tracking my moods really easily, and I've made a whole video about it, so I won't insult your intelligence by going into it in detail again. I'll just go ahead and put it up in the cards. 
I found this tracker to be really helpful, so I enjoy using it every month, and it helps me to know what my moods are at a glance. Pretty easy. I did, however, switch it up a little bit using the mandated butcher paper to fill in the key for my moods and my notes. I haven't used a habit tracker in probably two years because I basically stopped using it, but since I've been eating like garbage and not leaving my bed during this pandemic, I figured I'd try to motivate myself to be better about my health. So I'm making a habit tracker for this month. I framed the edges with the brown butcher paper again and used some flowery washi tape for the edges. I thought it was really cute. And then I'm tracking my habits with a graph, just dot for each day. Some habits like not spending money, not eating fast food that day, taking a walk, etc. I'm hoping it'll hold me accountable, so keep your fingers crossed. The basic formula is that for every day I complete a habit, I put a dot next to that habit for the day. Hopefully, by the end of the month, there will be dots next to everything for every day, but I highly doubt that. I'm just hoping to get a head start where I stop eating canes every day of the week. I filmed spreads for the first two weeklies of June because I had my phone die during the first one and I wanted proof that I had done it, gosh darn it. This is all that I got for the first one was just me tracing things out before my phone died. But basically I alternated rectangles of just blank paper outlined with my black fine liner and butcher paper rectangles to make this weekly spread and I decorated it with some washi tape. However, you're not gonna see any of that. You're just gonna see me trace things. Coming up is the spread that I actually successfully filmed once I had my phone safely charging. So for the second week spread that I filmed, I traced out rectangles for each day two inches wide by three inches high and glued them in for every day. I left the last of the eight spaces empty for notes. I then decorated it with flowery washi tape again. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done with this month. Well, this is the final flip through of my June spread. I hope that y'all are doing your best to stay safe and healthy out there and that you're keeping your heads above water. Thanks for watching.